Taylor series for sine of x centered at pi over 4. So let's begin by writing out what the Taylor series is. We're going to have sine of x is given by the Taylor series of f evaluated at pi over 4 plus 1 over 1 factorial times f prime evaluated at pi over 4 times x minus pi over 4 plus 1 over 2 factorial times f double prime at pi over 4 times x minus pi over 4 squared. And we're going to keep doing this until we can find a pattern in these coefficients that we can communicate to anybody else. So let's start off by taking derivatives, plug in pi over 4, and seeing if we can find numbers. Our function is sine of x. So at pi over 4, we're going to have f of pi over 4 is the sine of pi over 4 and that's root 2 over 2. And so we'll stick this first number right here, the Taylor series, as the first coefficient. Now we'll take a derivative and work on the next term. f prime is going to be cosine of x. Evaluated at pi over 4, we'll get the cosine of pi over 4, which is also square root 2 over 2. And we'll stick that in to this term, this coefficient right here. Now let's do a second derivative. Uh, the derivative of cosine is negative sine of x. If we evaluate this at pi over 4, we're going to have f double prime at pi over 4 is equal to negative 2 over root 2 over 2, sorry. And we'll stick that right here. Now let's just keep going hunting for patterns. The third derivative is going to be the negative of cosine of x. We evaluate that at pi over 4. And we're going to come up with negative root 2 over 2. Now if we take another derivative, so that's going to go in this spot right here, sorry. If we take another derivative on top of that, we're going to have uh, negative negative sine of x. And note that this derivative actually matched the original function, which means that I now know that all of my derivatives are going to repeat in a very cyclic pattern right here. They're going to go, uh, the coefficients are going to cycle through the pattern of root 2 over 2, and then a root 2 over 2 and then a negative root 2 over 2, and then a negative root 2 over 2, and the fourth derivative will now be a root 2 over 2, followed by a root 2 over 2, and this cycle of two positives, two negatives repeat. That means I can fill in the rest of the series with ease. The next term is going to be 1 over 4 factorial positive root 2 over 2, because that's the fourth term in my list, times x minus pi over 4 to the fourth power. The next term will be 1 over 5 factorial. The next Taylor coefficient here is going to be a positive root 2 over 2 times x minus pi over 4 to the fifth power. The next term will be 1 over 6 factorial. Now we'll have a negative root 2 over 2, matching the pattern above, times x minus pi over 4 to the sixth. And then a 1 over 7 factorial. It'll be a negative root 2 over 2 times x minus pi over 4 to the seventh power. And adding this dots right here, we now have a pattern that anybody could repeat right here. It's a little bit tricky to see it amid all these root 2 over 2s, but notice that every term has a root 2 over 2. And so if we pull those out to the front, we can make this sequence a little bit easier to read right here. If I pull out a root 2 over 2 from all of the pieces, we're going to have a 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial times x minus pi over 4 minus uh, 1 over 2 factorial times x minus pi over 4 squared minus 1 over 3 factorial times x minus pi over 4 cubed plus 1 over 4 factorial x minus pi over 4 to the fourth plus 1 over 5 factorial times x minus pi over 4 to the fifth then minus 1 over 6 factorial times x minus pi over 4 to the 6th, minus 1 over 7 factorial x minus pi over 4 to the 7th. And just to test that I know what's going on, the next one will be positive 1 over 8 factorial times x minus pi over 4 to the 8th. And then this pattern of plus plus minus minus repeats forever. Uh, so here would be the Taylor series right here. Remember, what we're looking for is not necessarily a closed formula, but just a pattern that anybody else could repeat and generate as many Taylor polynomials as they want. And this plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus pattern is pretty evident in what we've written right here.